let us study today how to obtain the minimal polynomials of galois field 8 <coughs> so here they have uh, given the galois field 8 that is extension field 2 raised to 3 galois field 2 raised to 3 its primitive polynomial is uh, uh, given which is x cube plus x plus 1 so what is primitive polynomial what are its criteria to be a primitive polynomial we have discussed in the previous videos so uh, what are the element uh, how many elements are there in the galois field 8 there are eight elements uh, these are 0 1 alpha alpha square alpha cube alpha raised to 4 alpha raised to 5 alpha raised to 6 so the elements are expressed in terms of powers of primitive element alpha is a primitive element what is primitive element how the elements are expressed why the elements are expressed as a powers of a primitive element uh, is discussed in the uh, video of primitive element and its properties so let us uh, uh, express uh, uh, these uh, primitive elements or uh, the elements of galois field 8 in terms of mod of primitive polynomial so uh, this uh, this part was also uh, uh, is there in uh, one of the video on this channel you can check that so find elements expressed as mod of primitive uh, polynomial so 0 is expressed as 0 1 as 1 alpha as alpha alpha square as alpha square alpha cube is equal to alpha plus 1 now how this comes so alpha cube so here alpha is a root of primitive polynomial so alpha cube so x cube plus x plus 1 so alpha cube plus alpha plus 1 is equal to 0 because alpha is a root so alpha cube is equal to minus 1 minus alpha minus 1 but uh, uh, here plus means xor operation so in xor there is no minus so minus is replaced by plus that is alpha plus 1 so why there is no minus because in xor 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 that is 1 equal to minus 1 1 xor 1 is equal to 0 so that's why uh, you can write uh, minus as plus so alpha raised to 4 is alpha into alpha cube alpha into alpha plus 1 that is alpha square plus alpha alpha raised to 5 is alpha into alpha raised to 4 that is alpha into alpha square plus alpha that is alpha cube plus alpha square alpha cube is alpha plus 1 so that becomes alpha square plus alpha plus 1 alpha raised to 6 is alpha into alpha raised to 5 so alpha into alpha raised to 5 is alpha raised to 5 is alpha square plus alpha plus 1 this one so that becomes alpha cube plus alpha square plus alpha alpha cube is alpha plus 1 plus alpha square plus alpha alpha plus alpha and that is 1 plus 1 or 1 x or 1 is equal to plus is once again i am telling plus is nothing but x or because all these are mod 2 operations so alpha plus alpha that is 1 x or 1 is equal to 0 so that get cancelled you get only alpha square plus 1 so alpha raised to 6 is alpha square plus 1 or x or 1 i'm not uh, going in uh, deep uh, in this calculation because uh, that was already covered in previous video otherwise the video length will increase so all these are written here alpha cube is equal to alpha plus 1 plus means x or alpha raised to 4 is alpha square plus alpha alpha raised to 5 is alpha square plus alpha plus 1 and alpha raised to 6 is alpha square plus 1 next uh, important point is higher powers of alpha that means uh, uh, after 6 after 6 the powers of al uh, alpha powers will be the uh, repeated elements so alpha raised to 7 is alpha into alpha raised to 6 alpha is uh, into alpha square plus 1 alpha raised to 6 is alpha square that is alpha cube plus alpha now what is alpha cube alpha plus 1 so alpha plus 1 plus alpha so that is equal to 1 because alpha plus alpha is equal to 0 xor operation now alpha raised to 8 is alpha into alpha raised to 7 that is alpha into 1 that is alpha alpha raised to 9 is alpha square into alpha raised to 7 that is alpha square into 1 alpha square so you can observe that the powers higher powers are nothing but the repeated elements of that galois field so that is written here in terms of uh, one table so elements are these 0 to alpha raised to 6 but uh, 1 is nothing but alpha 7 alpha is alpha raised to 8 alpha square is alpha raised to 9 likewise 13 then again 14 then uh, 20 again 21 so it uh, it means that alpha 22 if you see alpha 22 raised to 22 you have to replace it with alpha so this continues so uh, now let us find the minimal polynomials of this galois field for that you should know the what you should know you should know the roots of this minimal polynomial so 
these are the elements among these elements there are the roots 0 to alpha raised to 6 so you don't consider 0 and 1 first take alpha now why don't you don't consider 0 and 1 because they don't have any conjugate term uh, with uh, conjugate term so they individually form one polynomial that's why so now next you have taken alpha now take its power 2 4 8 16 32 64 so alpha 2 alpha 4 alpha 8 alpha 16 now where you have to stop you have here alpha raised to 4 now alpha raised to 8 is nothing but what alpha raised to 8 is alpha so here alpha alpha so stop here don't take it so your elements are of one polynomial are alpha alpha square alpha raised to 4 okay next now what you have covered you have covered alpha alpha square alpha raised to 4 so jump on to alpha cube and let's find its complex conjugates or conjugates so alpha cube is the next element now its powers you have to take it as 2 4 8 16 here i have written it 2 4 8 16 so alpha cube alpha 6 3 into 2 6 4 into 3 12 8 into 3 24 16 into 3 48 now we have to stop now alpha 12 is equal to alpha raised to 5 okay alpha 12 is equal to alpha raised to 5 alpha 24 alpha 24 is alpha cube so alpha 24 is equal to alpha cube so it is repeating so stop here so you have to take alpha cube alpha 6 alpha raised to 5 so these are three roots of one minimal polynomial so let us find the minimal polynomial so for finding minimal polynomial uh, there are three roots alpha alpha square alpha raised to 4 so x plus alpha x plus alpha square x plus alpha raised to 4 now how how you have to do the calculations so first you multiply these two so you will get x square then x is common you will get alpha plus alpha square because x alpha x alpha square okay then alpha into alpha square is alpha cube next bracket is al x plus alpha raised to 4 so don't solve it mm, you keep it as it is so x square plus x alpha plus alpha square this one so you multiply with this so x cube plus x square plus x plus now you multiply with this alpha raised to 4 x square alpha raised to 4 x alpha plus alpha square and 4 plus 3 alpha raised to 7 after that x cube x square take x, uh, x square terms uh, uh, in one bracket so alpha plus alpha square plus alpha raised to 4 here after that x here alpha cube here alpha raised to 5 plus alpha raised to 6 4 and 2 then alpha raised to 7 after that you can put the values x cube plus x square alpha plus alpha square now alpha raised to 4 is alpha square plus alpha alpha square plus alpha that's why you need to express it in terms of mod of minimum uh, primitive polynomial so this one next alpha cube alpha alpha cube is alpha cube then alpha raised to 5 is alpha square plus alpha plus 1 alpha raised to 6 is alpha square plus 1 after that so uh, here uh, alpha plus alpha get cancelled alpha square plus alpha square get cancelled here only you can see that these all terms get cancelled because 1 x or 1 is equal to 0 now in x x is a uh, alpha cube so here alpha square get cancelled alpha square get cancelled alpha is there one 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 get cancelled alpha cube is alpha plus one so uh, this uh, alpha this one will also get cancelled you will get only one so your polynomial is x cube plus x plus one so here you can see that primitive polynomial is also a minimal polynomial but all minimal polynomials are not primitive polynomials because in the, uh, uh, previously we have seen that uh, we have taken the primitive polynomial x cube plus x plus 1 
so primitive polynomial is a minimal polynomial but there are some extra features this primitive polynomial carries which all the minimal polynomials don't carry so what are those features that was also discussed in the previous video you can check that video so next let us find the minimal polynomial related with q5 6 again write like this multiply these two so x square x alpha cube plus alpha raised to 5 5 plus 3 alpha raised to 8 x plus alpha raised to 6 then x x cube x square x alpha raised to 6 x square alpha raised to 6 x 8 plus 6 is 14 <coughs> then x cube plus x square so alpha raised to 6 take here then x alpha raised to 8 x is here 6 plus 3 9 6 plus 5 11 then alpha raised to here why i have written 13 so it is i think 14 let me correct it because i have to because i will provide these notes in terms of pdf in the description box of this video so it is 14 alpha raised to 14 next so x cube plus x square alpha 3 is alpha plus 1 alpha 5 is alpha square plus alpha plus 1 alpha 6 is alpha square plus 1 so here you, you can see that alpha square get cancelled alpha get cancelled 1 get cancelled only 1 remains let us see about x so x alpha plus alpha square plus alpha square plus alpha because here alpha raised to 4 is there and alpha raised to 4 is alpha square plus alpha so here uh, x square 1 remains in x there is 0 because all gets get uh, terms get cancelled so you will get x cube plus x square plus 1 so this is the minimal polynomial with the roots alpha cube 5 and 6 so it is written as 0 x uh, yeah, how you are going to, uh, you are writing it you are writing it as x plus x equal to 0 that is x plus 0 x equal to 1 that is x plus 1 and uh, x plus alpha x plus alpha square x plus alpha raised to 4 we have multiplied these all these terms and written the minimal polynomials x cube plus x plus 1 x cube plus x plus 1 for 3 5 6 it is x cube plus x square plus 1 5 is x cube plus x square plus 1 6 is x cube plus x square plus 1 so this is the minimal polynomial finding for galas field 8 um, this is uh, required for BCH and cyc. This is the base for the BCH and cyclic course. So you should understand this concept. And if you need, uh, there are two questions again that uh, you have to find the minimal polynomials by taking the primitive polynomial as x cube plus x square plus one. And again, minimal polynomials for the Galois field a uh, sixteen. So if you want. I can cover those uh, two problems also but uh, with this problem I feel uh, you can uh, uh, solve these two uh, with the Galois field 16 and with the Galois field 8 with the primitive polynomial x cube plus x square plus 1 otherwise I will make the video on that also so this is for the minimal polynomial finding